Ito ang DWW 1134 kilohertz Balita, informasyon at musika AM at FM pinagsama Ito ang Katropa Radio Iba tayo Kayo ay nakatutok sa 1134 kilohertz DWD Katropa Radio Iba tayo Kami po ay kasapi ng KBP Kapisana ng mga broadcaster ng Pilipinas Ito ang DWD 1134 kilohertz Patropa Radio Iba tayo
Good morning, good morning, uh, magandang umaga Pilipinas, uh, Buenos Dias, Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao. Magandang magandang umaga katropa. Good morning, naimbag na bigat. Mayong nga aga. Maupay nga aga. Mayak a abak. Para naman sa ating mga Bicolanong mga tagapakinig at tagapakpanood. Marhay na aga. At uh, sa ating uh, mga katropa dyan sa Pangasinan, maabog ya kabawasan. And of course, sa ating mga katropang uh, mga maraunon, uh, mapya kapipita. Okay, mga katropa, good morning and uh, yes, uh, Sabado na naman po at uh, nandito na naman po kami para magtanghal, uh, magsasahim papawid ng ating palatuntunang uh, katropa sa kamara ni Terence Mordeno Grana. Yes, Terence Mordeno Grana po lamang. Ang inyong lingkod, ang inyong kaagapay at ang inyong gabay sa ating palatuntunang katropa sa kamara. Siya nga pala, mga katropa, kung nais po ninyong makipagtalastasan o meron man po kayong uh, mga solusyon, mga reaksyon, uh, mga kuro-kuro hinggil sa ating mga paksa sa umagang ito, uh, mangyari po lamang ay uh, uh, tumawag lamang o dili kaya mag-text sa mga mobile phone numbers natin. Uh, um, at uh, naririto po ang mga phone numbers natin. Plus 6391650 o dili kaya sa plus Yes mga katropa, ang uh, katropa sa kamara ni Terence Mordeno Grana ay uh, matutunghayan. Eksklusibong eksklusibo mga katropa. Eksklusibo dito lamang po sa DWD Katropa Radio 1134 sa talapihitan ng inyong mga radio at sa ating AFP Radio and Virtual Television. Okay, yeah, mga katropa, time check, 9.13 in the morning. So, uh, mga katropa, uh, tuloy-tuloy na po tayo at uh, uh, siguro sa unang bahagi ng ating uh, palatuntunan ay uh, nais kong ibigay muna sa inyo ang mga nangyari nung uh, nakaraang araw ng uh, linggo at uh, 
ano 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 nga ang mga pangyayaring naganap dun sa ating uh, mababang kapulungan sa ating uh, uh, Kamara de Representantes. So, uh, nagkaroon po ng uh, uh, mga uh, pagdinig or uh, briefing, budget briefing uh, ng uh, ang ating uh, House Committee on Appropriations. Uh, magmula noong uh, September 3, uh, 2018 hanggang uh, kahapon or day before yesterday. So, uh, mga nangyari ay uh, yun nga. Uh, briefing, pagkatapos yung uh, nagkaroon ng uh, mga pagdinig hinggil sa mga uh, mga mahahalagang uh, Uh, panukalang batas na tinatalakay ng ating mga committees we had uh, yung uh, legislative franchises nagkaroon sila ng uh, ng uh, pagdinig hinggil sa committee report number 6953 yung uh, uh, pagre-renew ng uh, legislative franchise na na i-grant doon sa Raja Broadcasting Network Incorporated at uh, uh, ito ay uh, isang uh, uh, panukalang batas na uh, nilagdaan at uh, inihain ng ating butihing uh, House Speaker Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. Ganun din na uh, mga katropa kasama doon sa pagtalakay ng, uh, ng uh, ganung uh, panukalang batas ay, ay yung uh, isa pang uh, franchise na Uh, ginawad doon sa Radio World Broadcasting Corporation at uh, yung uh, isa pang uh, franchise granted to Southern Broadcasting Network uh, Corporation at uh, para sa Solar, para sa Bayan uh, Corporation franchise pa rin ito so we could see here na ang ating uh, uh, House Committee on Legislative Franchises ay talagang uh, tunay na nag- uh, nag uh, tatrabaho at nagsasagawa ng uh, pagsasabatas hinggil sa mga prangkisa sapagkat ang uh, isang uh, at sabihin na natin yung net network ay hindi ito makakapag uh, operate hanggat hindi ito gigrant ng ang uh, ang franchise kung hindi gagrant ng ating kongreso at ang uh, legislation ng franchise mga katropa ay uh, ito ay isang exclusive uh, Uh, jurisdiction ng ating House of Representatives lamang. So, ang ating House of Representatives, Representatives lamang ang uh, maaaring maghain ng panukalang batas hinggil sa legislative franchises. And uh, as we could uh, uh, see, uh, yun yung mga kanina na aking uh, minention, ano? Uh, mga franchises na tinalakay ng House uh, Committee on Legislative Franchises. Okay, uh, on the intervals, ay, uh, of course, pasalamatan natin ang uh, ating mga katropang mga tagapakinig at uh, uh, sumas, sumus, subaybay sa ating uh, palatong tunang katropa sa kamera ni Terence Mordeno Grana uh, at uh, yes, we have in the house uh, unang-una si Alan Glenn Arceo uh, maraming salamat Alan Glenn and then we also have Virgilio Yasay Uh, siya ay kasalukoy ang nanunod at nakikinig sa atin sa ating palatunto ng katrawa sa kamera ni Terence Mardeno Grana and then we also have of course uh, ito ay pamangkin ko si Erlinda Grana Casino sabi niya hello good morning Uyuan so he calls me uh, uh, uncle <laughs> no manong Terence lang ang tawag niya although I am supposed to be her uh, Uncle, ano? Uh, so, uh, ito ay nasa Butuan City and they are also watching, I think, uh, uh, Erlinda and uh, the family are watching uh, now. 
sa ating uh, palatuntunang uh, katropa sa kamera ni Terence Mordeno Grana. Okay, to continue our uh, rundown of uh, the activities that we had uh, uh, in the past few days doon sa ating House of Representatives, uh, okay, I will give you uh, this uh, particular activity, yung uh, uh, hearing ng uh, House Committee on uh, Welfare of the Children of Children Uh, kanilang uh, tinalakay yung uh, committee report hinggil sa substitute bill para sa House Bill Number no. 516 at uh, House Bill Number no. 6955 at uh, ang uh, panukalang mga panukalang batas na ito ay uh, promoting positive and non-violent discipline and protecting children from physical humiliating or degrading acts as a form of punishment and appropriating funds therefore Ito ay isang import <coughs> excuse me <coughs> Ito ay isang uh, importanteng uh, uh, pagsasabatas uh, uh, piece of legis- pieces of legislation at uh, Uh, this uh, this particular uh, bills are really uh, for the welfare of the children ano at uh, ito ay yung uh, hinggil nga dito sa non-violent discipline uh, positive and non-violent uh, uh, discipline para sa mga para sa proteksyon ng mga bata, proteksyon sa physical, humiliating, and degrading acts uh, as a form of punishment. So, uh, minsan kasi sa ating uh, tayo bilang mga magulang, minsan na uh, tayo ay uh, uh, nagpapanish sa ating mga anak, uh, pinaparasahan natin ng ating mga anak uh, in a manner na ito ay uh, physical humiliating and degrading. Ibig sabihin, uh, yung uh, masyadong physical uh, to the extent na ang bata ay nagkakapasa-pasa na or what. Uh, and then yung uh, nakakahiya para sa bata, siguro hiyain mo yung bata uh, sa labas ng uh, inyong uh, tahanan at uh, yung nakaka-degrade ba sa bata. So uh, ito This piece, uh, pieces of legislation ay talagang uh, uh, akma doon kasi marapat lamang ng ating mga kabataan, ang ating mga growing children are uh, talagang uh, maproteksyonan at uh, uh, they should be uh, uh, protected uh, by the government through uh, a law that uh, uh, our Congress will be passing. So, uh, Talagang uh, ito ay uh, isa sa mga uh, panukalang batas na nararapat lamang na uh, ipasa. So, isa pang uh, panukalang batas na kanilang uh, tinalakay doon sa House Committee on Welfare of Children ay yung uh, ano na, talagang uh, batas uh, kung magiging batas man ito ay uh, ito ay uh, magi-impose ng uh, stiffer penalties yung uh, talagang uh, uh, kaparusahan medyo mabigat na kapasur- kaparusahan doon sa Uh, pag-violate ng uh, child abuse uh, law uh, amending for the purpose Republic Act 7610 as amended otherwise known as the Pro- Special Protection of Children Against Child Abuse 
Exploitation and Discrimination Act. Yung kanina, yung unang uh, panukalang batas na ating diniscuss ay hinggil sa positive and non-violent discipline. Uh, ito naman ay yung uh, kaparusahan na ipapataw doon sa mga lumalamag, lumalabag sa uh, batas hinggil dito sa Special Protection of Children Against Child Abuse, uh, Exploitation and Discrimination. Okay, ano-ano pa ang mga nangyari uh, doon sa ating uh, House of Representatives uh, noong mga nakaraang araw uh, sa loob ng uh, linggong ito, no? Uh, of course, uh, yung continuation ng uh, appropriations briefing. Briefing hinggil sa mga budget ng uh, uh, iba't ibang departments, specifically yung uh, Uh, sa Department of Health, uh, uh, Civil Service Commission, uh, at uh, iba pang uh, mga uh, departamento ng ating uh, pamahalaan. Cecil po ng House of Representatives o galiing makinig sa palatong to ng Katropa sa Kamara ni Katropang Terence Mordeno Grana. Dito lamang sa nag-iisang himpilan ng kawal ng bayan, ang Katropa Radio. Iba tayo! Ito po si Dennis Melarpis ng House of Representatives at kayo po ay nakikinig sa ating katropa sa kamara na si Terence Mordeno Grana sa nag-iisang himpilan ng kawal ng bayan, DWDD 11.34 sa inyong talapihitan. Magandang umaga po. Maria Eloy Salomeda po lamang ng Philippine Society for Public Administration. Kayo po ay nakikinig sa palatuntunang Katropa sa Kamara ni Katropang Terence Mordeno Grana. Dito lamang sa nag-iisang himpilan ng kawal ng bayan, ang Katropa Radio. Iba tayo! Okay, sa pagpapatuloy, uh, uh, ano pa ang mga nangyari? Karoon ng uh, uh, pag-constitute ng uh, technical working group ng uh, House Committee on uh, Cooperatives Development para matalakay ang uh, uh, Joint House Senate uh, Technical Working Group meeting, uh, pagkaroon ng meeting on possible legislative measures aimed at strengthening the Cooperative Development Authority or CDA. Okay, another uh, technical working group meeting I, uh, uh, constituted by uh, committee report na, uh, or uh, House Committee on Health Uh, regarding House Bill Number 4161, which is the bill, bill mandating six months medical service in local health facilities for postgraduate physicians and new medical specialists.
Okay mga katropa, huwag po lamang kayong bumitiw at kami po ay babalik ka agad matapos ang ilang mga paalaala mula sa ating uh, himpilan. Ito ang DWW 1134 kilohertz. Balita, informasyon at musika. AM at FM pinagsama. Ito ang Katropa Radio. Iba tayo. Kayo ay nakatutok sa 1134 kilohertz. DWD Katropa Radio. Iba tayo. Kami po ay kasapi ng KBP, kapisana ng mga broadcaster ng Pilipinas.
Okay, sa ating pagbabalik, kayo po ay nakikinig sa ating palatuntunang uh, katropa sa kamera ni Terence Mordeno Grana. Dito lamang, eksklusibong eksklusibo sa ating himpilang DWD 1134 sa talapitan ng inyong mga radyo at sa ating AFP Radio and Virtual Television. Okay, yung mga, mga katropa, tuloy-tuloy na po tayo and uh, at this point, uh, I'll be giving you uh, a statement from the office of uh, the House Majority Leader, House Majority Leader uh, Rolando G. Andaya Jr. At ito ay hinggil sa... Ito, marami kasing ano, uh, papag-usapan uh, dito. On tax reform for attracting better and high quality opportunities. Uh, trabaho bill. Hinggil sa trabaho bill. Uh, ito yung mga uh, uh, pahayag na ating nakuha sa ating uh, butihing uh, majority leader Rolando G. Andaya Jr. Okay, uh, ito yung uh, tinuran niya. No? Let me make it clear. The second part of our tax reform package is not inflationary. Contrary to what critics are saying, the measure will not result to higher prices of commodities. Uh, walang dagdag na buwis dito, kaya walang dagdag sa presyo ng bilihin. It is revenue neutral, meaning it will not result in a gain or lo loss of funds. Ito, uh, uh, he is reacting to some quarters who are saying, yung uh, statements of some quarters, who are saying na itong uh, trabaho or yung train to bill ay uh, magiging parusa po. So, yun nga, sabi niya, dapat uh, klaro tayo dito na itong pangalawang uh, part ng ating tax reform, ito nga, yung trabaho bill, ay uh, ito ay hindi inflationary. Uh, contrary to what critics are saying, itong panukalang ito will not result to higher prices of commodities. Walang dagdag na buwis dito kaya walang dagdag sa presyo ng bilhin. So, uh, it is revenue neutral, meaning it will not result in a gain or loss of funds. So, the bill, itong uh, panukalang batas na ito, seeks to create jobs. Uh, ito nga, creating jobs by attracting the right set of investments through incentives. Bibigyan ng insinteb, insin, insintibo yung mga, uh, yung mga uh, attracted na ng mga investments. Ang bibigyan natin ng incentives dito, yun lamang mga negosyo na may maliwanag 
na kontribusyon sa national development at magbibigay ng trabaho sa mga mahihirap. So, our development goal now is biased in favor of investments outside of big cities or urban areas. If businesses want longer period of incentives, they have to create more jobs and align with the country's development goals. So, malinaw na malinaw, mga katropa, na ang uh, panukalang uh, uh, trabaho bill, uh, yung, uh, yun nga, actually, ano to, yung uh, uh, sinasabi nila na this is train to, pero hindi, kasi yung uh, train uh, to ay uh, sa mga basic commodities yun. Ito, dito, incentives ito para sa mga uh, in, uh, investments, mga investors, mga nagninegosyo na may maliwanag na kontribusyon. Kontribusyon. I'm so sorry. Taka. Anyway, kontribusyon sa national development at magbibigay ng trabaho sa mga may hirap. Okay, dako ano man natin ang uh, naging reaksyon ng ating uh, butihing uh, majority floor leader uh, Rolando and G Andaya Jr. Uh, ng uh, kanyang uh, talakayin ang uh, hinggil sa inflation ano sa inflation kasi ito yung ano eh uh, as of yet ang uh, inflation rate natin is 6.4%. So meron siyang uh, Sinasabi dito. Okay, our main concern right now is how to make food available and affordable to all. If you remember, one of the first acts of the present House leadership was to propose to the country's economic managers measures to caution the impact of the rising inflation. We, in the House of Representatives, for example, have already passed the bill on rice tarification on third reading. Pinasa na itong uh, rice tarification sa tat, uh, pangatlo at pinalapagbasa. So, uh, we expect the Senate to follow suit and act on the measure with this pass. Inflation management is up the alley of our executive. Whatever they need from us in terms of legislation, or items in 2019 budget, we will be happy to discuss with them. So, makikita natin mga katropa na ang uh, liderato ngayon ng uh, House of Representatives sa pamumuno ni uh, House Speaker uh, Gloria Macapagal Arroyo at uh, assisted by uh, the Majority Floor Leader uh, Rolando Giandaya Jr. of uh, Camarines Sur ay uh, talagang tunay na sila ay uh, uh, nagtatrabaho at uh, yun nga uh, bago bago lang nilang uh, pag-upo ay uh, uh, talagang uh, pinag-uusapan na kaagad nila itong uh, itong uh, hinggil sa pag-arrest uh, nitong inflation at uh, ipinanukala nga nila doon sa sa mga ating mga economic managers mga measures para ma-caution ang impact ng uh, ng uh, rising inflation so uh, dito nga sa House of Representatives, uh, makikita natin na sila ay uh, talagang tunay na nagtatrabaho at uh, ipinasanga nila itong ang, uh, ang panukalang batas sa uh, mga katropa, yung, uh, yung uh, Bill on Rice Tarification. Pinasanga nila ito sa third and final reading upang maaktuhan ito ng Senado at uh, ang bola ngayon ay nasa Senado na for them to act on this piece of legislation and then eventually after uh, 
uh, ma-aprubahan ma- na ito, pumasa na ito sa Senado, ay, uh, of course, it will be transmitted uh, yung, uh, yung panukara ay eh, finalize and then uh, it will be now transmitted to the Office of the President for Presidential Action. Oras, alas 9.45 ng uh, umaga. Okay, pakinggan naman natin ngayon ang uh, naging uh, pahayag, pakinggan, or uh, I will just uh, read to you, of course, <laughs> the, the, ano, the release from the office of uh, Speaker GMA uh, hinggil dito sa kanyang reaksyon uh, ng magiging action uh, ng ating pamahalaan hinggil sa rising inflation. And she really assures uh, the public assures the government action government action against rising inflation okay uh, former president and now house speaker gloria macapagal arroyo assured that the government is working to curb inflation noting that a more alarming increase was resolved during her pres- presidency In an Amos interview, Speaker Arroyo was firm that steps are being taken amid uh, recent reports that inflation has spiked to uh, 6.4%. L- uh, she said, uh, let me just put it this way. The government is doing what it can, do, it can to address, address this problem. She recalled that uh, during her presidency, Inflation reached 6.6% in March 2009, but abated, arrested, uh, abated to 1.5% in June. Uh, she said, uh, because, the speaker said, because in my time, how did we bring, the, bring, it, up, bring it down from 6.6% to 1.5% in three months' time? A lot of measures were taken, combination, but maybe the biggest single factor was the massive importation of rice, to, rice together with buying massively from the local farmers. So conceivably, a sharp increase can be solved, but we have to analyze what's driving it and therefore how to address what's driving it. Moreover, she said that she wants to discuss the matter with Representative Joby Salceda of the 2nd District of Albay, 
who a speaker Arroyo appointed as her special focal person for counterinflation measure measures. I have his his note stated that she. I have uh, been asking Joy Salceda, Salceda if we can sit down against and again and see if there are some other things that we can we suggested before that we can stress again or whether there are new causes for inflation or whether there are new steps that need to be done so that with the part of Congress uh, so so that's with the part of Congress. <laughs> Speaker Arroyo said that the recently enacted uh, tax reform for acceleration and inclusion or train law accounts for a very, very small portion of the inflation increase. There may be new drivers, as uh, I said, she said, no? I do not have statistics at my fingertips. Not being president, I cannot guess until they tell me, she said. Speaker Arroyo refused to further speculate on inflation, saying she will provide answers when she has more data. She said, I have to see the facts before I can give such judgments. I am not a populist that likes to say popular things or interesting things. I have to speak from the knowledge of facts. The interview was held after Speaker uh, Arroyo administered the oath of uh, Ronald uh, Giancarlo Cardema, who was appointed by President Rodrigo Duterte as the new chairman of the National Youth Commission. Okay, tingin naman natin ang naging pahayag ni uh, Representative Francisco Datol Jr. ng uh, Senior Citizen Party List. Uh, ito ay hinggil sa uh, celebration ng uh, National Grandparents Day, National Grandparents Day bukas, September 9. So, uh, sabi niya, SEC BSP must have limits on how much lenders can deduct from monthly pensions of uh, retirees. So, ito yung uh, naging uh, pahayag niya, no? Hindi dapat masimot ang buwan ng pensyon ng mga retirees. Kakaramput lang ang uh, pensyong na tatanggap ng mga retirees kaya hindi dapat ito mauubos sa kababayan ng mga utang. There should be a limit to how much banks and lending firms can deduct loan payments from retirement pensions. Pension benefits are meant to somehow help retirees meet daily expenses, especially health care needs. However, SSS or Social Security System and GSIS or uh, the Government Service Insurance System, pensions are being used as collateral or security in the giving of loans. My fear is the loan payment deductions may be getting too much that little is left of whatever little amount the uh, monthly retirement pensions are. Lend lenders should also not take possession of the ATM or the automatic uh, teller man, uh, machine cards of uh, uh, pensioners 
those cards are not the property of the lenders because those cards were issued to the pensioners. I am therefore appealing to the Securities and Exchange Commission and the Banco Central ng Pilipinas to promulgate rules that will set limits on how much lenders can deduct from can deduct from the monthly pensions of retirees and how much must remain in the monthly pension. Their rules should also stop and prevent the lenders from getting the pensioners ATM, ATM cards, uh, other unethical practices of lenders toward retirees must also be prohibited. SEC and BESB must also find ways to proactively inform the public on which lenders to avoid. I am open, uh, said uh, Congressman Detol, to meeting the SEC and BESP soon to iron out the details and convey to them in, in person the plight of retirees. I also ask the Department of Finance to give ample period is to the personal properties of seniors and retirees in the implementing rules and regulations of the new Personal Property Security Act or Republic Act number 11057. So uh, he said, bless, please, please protect seniors against unjust liens and seizures of their personal properties. <laughs> Okay, mga katropa. Also in the house, we have Danilo Ablen, uh, who is now watching uh, our uh, program via via uh, Facebook Live. Thank you very much, Danilo. Kumusta na tayo dyan sa Bulacan, Danilo? you can uh, coordinate with uh, this uh, humble representation uh, itong aba ninyong lingkod si Terence Mordeno Grana sa pamagitan nitong ating uh, palatuntunan katropa sa kamera uh, kung may mga nais kayong uh, uh, ipapanukala sa ating uh, kongreso ay uh, maaari kayong uh, sumulat, lumiham o ay uh, tumawag sa mga sinabi ko kaninang mga minention ko kaninang mga phone numbers And uh, I will uh, take action on your uh, uh, suggestions and requests. And then, another thing is, uh, siguro, mag-participate kayo sa mga public hearings and uh, public meetings na isasagawa ng ating uh, mga committee sa ating House of Representatives. In that way, you can propose, you can uh, present your proposals to our legislators and uh, They will be willing. They will be willing to uh, listen to you and uh, probably accept your proposal. 
Okay, at this point, wala na pong oras na naman tayo. Katropa at uh, kami po ay mamamaalam na naman muna pansamantala sa inyo. Maraming maraming salamat po at kami po ay inyong pinahintulutang pumasok sa inyong mga tahanan sa pamagitan ng ating uh, palatuntunang katropa sa kamera. Dagang salamat po sa atong mga tahigalaang mga bisayang na naminaw ka na itong karang taksaa. Ito pa ang inyong lingkod, gini ang inyong kabos na sulugoon, Terence Mordeno, Grana, at sangalan ng lahat ng mga bumubuo ng production staff. Sa ating palatuntunan, ako po ay nagsasabing na pagpalain sana tayong lahat ng ating Panginoong May Kapal. God bless us all at uh, purihin ang ating Panginoon. Good morning. Ito ang DWW 1134 kilohertz. Balita, informasyon at musika. AM at FM pinagsama. Ito ang Katropa Radio. Iba tayo. Kayo ay nakatutok sa 1134 kilohertz. DWD Katropa Radio. Iba tayo.